Okay, in Rugby Union news, uh, Manu Tuolangi has re-signed with the Leicester Tigers for next season. Uh, he's not going to France now. Uh, I think a lot of the reason why he's decided to stay, because he was so strongly linked for at least the last month with a move to Racing, was Eddie Jones and his decision to recall him to the England squad uh, for the games against Wales and Italy and obviously the game against Scotland. His recall to the England squad, I think, has swayed Manu Tuolangi to, to, to stay in English rugby because obviously there's an option and as a chance to get in the World Cup squad, should he stay fit and and discipline, you know, issues aside, if he keeps out of trouble on the field and stays fit, he's gonna go to Japan in, in the in the autumn in the World Cup. He's also young enough at the age of twenty seven to play at the next World Cup as well. There's still, I think, enough in Manu Tuolangi's legs and game to get him through the next four year cycle. I think yes, Eddie Jones has obviously seen what he's been doing for Leicester and his return to form and his return to fitness and has decided I need a player like that in my back line. Eddie Jones, we know he likes the power game. Manu Tuolangi fits Eddie Jones' style. And to be fair, Manu Tuolangi's done his job very, very well the last two games. In defeat and victory, he's, he's done his role. It's the players around him that haven't. Um, but yeah, had he not been recalled, I think he would have gone in the summer. And if Eddie Jones then in the summer, in the build-up to the World Cup, wanted to bring him in, it would have proven more difficult with the selection rules that we can debate the pros and cons of uh, the selection rules for England, Wales, uh, Ireland, France, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, those nations have these protectionist selection rules where you have to play in country of origin unless there are exceptional circumstances. Like the Matt Gitto rule for Australia, for example, or the 60 cap rule in Wales. And there is a debate on the pros and cons of this. But had he not been called up, I think he would have gone. Uh, Jordan Murphy been is obviously very, very happy with retaining one of their key players. And he is a key player for Leicester. He's a leader for Leicester. He's a star player for Leicester. He, he puts bums on seats. That's that's the basic principle behind it. Um, he's been with Leicester since 2010 as a professional. Uh, Jordan Murphy has, has has basically coached him uh, as an assistant coach and now as the main coach for a long period, a long part of that time. And Leicester are, are being very coy about the length of contract, but I think it's it's for the next four-year cycle. I think it's for the next, up till the end of the next World Cup cycle. I honestly believe it'll be a four-year contract. We'll get through this World Cup. Then we start the next four-year cycle for the World Cup in 2023, which to Alani, if he stays fit and keeps some form, he'll be, what, 30, 31, 32? He will still be young enough to, to play at the next World Cup as well. I think it'll be a four-year contract. And then after that World Cup cycle, I think, yeah, he might go to France. He might retire. We'll see what happens. I, I don't doubt that he may, he may look abroad for his rugby post this World Cup as well. It could be just for this World Cup, a year-length contract. Uh, and then we'll see what happens from there. But... For now, he's a Leicester Tigers player. We'll find out length of contract later when Leicester Tigers release a full statement on how long he is staying. But I think Eddie Jones's uh, recall for him uh, to the England side has played a key part in the decision. We have seen English players like the Armitage brothers who are exceptionally talented who would easily slot into this England side and and, and, inc- and, and improve it, uh, stay in France. Uh, we've seen a Benzedin, great fullback, stay in France. They All three of those players would quite happily slot into this England side and improve it. But because of selection rules and because they've decided to play their club rugby um, in France... They're not eligible for selection unless there's exceptional circumstances. And let's say there's a, a, an injury crisis or an illness crisis, they won't get called up. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Tuolangi is staying as a Leicester Tigers player. Uh, we'll see what happens going forward. Please place your comments below uh, and I'll have some more videos for you soon. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye for now.